how nice is it to have Eric coming with you? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, once he told me that he was coming here, I was ecstatic because I just know the potential he has on the field and also like what he brings to this program. Uh, he was voted a captain with me, you know, and I think um, overall, not just what he can do on the field, but the guy he is, the, you know, the friends, you know, that he's already made here. And I know the guys already respect him, which is awesome. And I think, you know, as new guys, me and Eric are just going to continue to prove ourselves to try and earn the respect of our teammates and our coaches. But I'm confident that he'll do that with his play and how he handles himself. And then you mentioned that you've been trying to go to a lot of sporting events outside of this, you know, of just football. Did yeah. you happen to get to Carver at all last weekend? Yeah, I did. I actually was at both games, and that was awesome. I was there for when Kaitlin hit that shot. I thought that was like one of the coolest experiences I've ever been in in terms of a college event because she's an absolute beast. What's the equivalent of that on a football Um, probably a hail mary, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and plus, it was against the best team in the conference. Like that's sweet. <laughs> what do you think of the men's comeback? That was awesome too. Did you think the game was over? Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. never over. It's <laughs> never over. But I think you know. Uh, to, for me to be able to experience both those two uh, events in the same weekend, I mean, anyone who was at those games, they know that was just an unbelievable experience. What have you learned about this place since you've been here? Yeah, I think, you know, I'm really continually just trying to learn as much as I possibly can about this place. Um, something that has really stood out to me is the amount of pride that my teammates have in being from Iowa and playing for Iowa. And everything I heard I mean it's continually said that you know uh, we don't have a sport a uh, professional team here in Iowa and you know the level of seriousness that comes with you know playing here at the university is really special to the guys and we have a lot of guys from Iowa and they take a lot of pride in it and I think you know for me um, it's honestly like pretty inspiring like how much these guys care about and how long like these kids a lot of my teammates they grew up being Iowa fans and they want to represent the black and gold you know just like they watched it when they were a kid and how special that is and I think that is something that's completely stood out to me and something that you know I'm really happy to be a part of. Do you see similarities and differences between things at Michigan and Iowa just from your daily day-to-day -day routine? Yeah I mean I think in any college program there's gonna be similarities and differences but um, really I'm just focused on Iowa right now and I'm just happy to be here really. Cade, when you look at when you were getting recruited by Iowa, was the constant uh, great defenses that they put out was that a factor at all in your decision, knowing that like the defense is going to have you back, just given the production they've, they've crazy production they've had? I think it was more of just the t type of team that we would have this season was intriguing to me that we would have a lot of guys coming back and you know playing against some of the guys that you know are now my buddies um, played a factor just because I'm well aware of you know what Iowa defense means and how tough they are to play against. And, um, you know, I just couldn't, I mean, soak that they're on my team now. <laughs> I think you were on a, the podcast right after, shortly after you came in with your quarterback coach and you basically said, please keep talking about us that we're not going to be able to take the next step. Please, you know, just keep on talking that talk. When did you, when did that sort of confidence and you want that kind of pressure on you, when did that kind of develop in your football career? Was that early on or is that something that you sort of developed? Yeah, I mean, I think um, that level of confidence has been, I've always had it, um, whether it's in other sports or really I think I'm able to present that confidence on the football field and I think that's why I ended up choosing football over baseball so much is that I feel like I can just be more of myself on the football field and um, I mean I've always played at kind of a young age I played varsity as a freshman in high school and um, you know the pressure of playing a quarterback is just something that we all sign up for if you want to play quarterback and I think um, some people have more confidence than others and um, I'm just very confident in my ability, and I'm also super confident um, in the team that we have and the pieces around me. Are there other schools that you seriously considered, or what, once you looked at Iowa, was it pretty much your mind was set? Um, I mean, I took, I mean, I would listen. I took a couple phone calls, but once, um, you know, once I had a few conversations with Coach Bud Meyer, um, I was pretty set. Do you still want people to doubt the offense, or are you kind of? No, they can, they can keep doubting all they want. That's fine with me, honestly. You like it. Yeah, I do. I think, And I think overall, not just me, but the 
this program is what I've grown to realize is that this is a chip on your shoulder type of program and I think you know I think that was also very intriguing to me is that just the culture that coach Ferentz has created here is awesome and I think you know I'm just so happy to be a part of it and I think I gel into it nice and I think you know I'm just going to continually try and do everything I can to make sure that I can prove myself that you know to my teammates and to my coaches. What is your style of leadership? Kirk Ferentz talked you know Iowa loses a lot of really critical leaders Sam LaPorta, Jack Campbell, Riley Moss, Kayvon Merriweather. Yeah. Um, and you're you've got that captain material but how do you go about earning that trust from people and do you want to be kind of a you know, a primary team leader. Yeah, of team. course. I mean, I definitely want to be a primary team leader. I think because that just comes with playing the quarterback position mm -hmm. is that if you're not a leader in some way as a quarterback, um, I think you just have to be. And I think that's what comes with the job. And I mean, I think, yes, we did lose a lot of guys and I've met those guys and they're all just awesome dudes. And I think, you know, that's just kind of how it goes every single year that you have to learn. Um, you know, new guys have to step up. We already have guys stepping up on defense in those roles. And I mean, for me, it's a different experience because it's a completely new team. But I think for me, the difference between me coming in as a freshman and me coming in as a transfer is that I have, um, you know, I, I, I've already touched the field. And I think that definitely helps me when it comes to earning respect from my teammates. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you can't lead anyone or I cannot be a, le a leader seen by my teammates if I don't have their respect mm -hmm. so I think that's just really important for me right now is as I'm still in the early stages of me being here is just continually trying to earn their respect and uh, you know trying to prove to them that I'm willing to do everything it takes for us to win. Does the 2021 Big Ten Championship game ever come up in your guys' conversations now? Uh, sometimes just because I've played some of those dudes and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes it's fun to talk about just to mess around but um, I know I'll be pretty dang happy if we, when we go win one this year.